joy, another human sent by the institution, must be my lucky day. Yes, yes, I know why you're here. For the interview, of course. Another interview. Ugh. All right, yes, yes, on with it. Actually, no. You know what? I just want to say this. Back in my day, we were allowed to kill any human we wanted to. Any human. We were allowed to drink as much blood as we wanted. Vampires were vampires when I was young. Then the institution came in, and look what they did to us. We aren't allowed to kill anymore. We're only allowed to take as much blood as we need. It's ridiculous. It goes against our way, against our vampire way. This isn't even blood, it's wine. It's a way that I pretend to have blood. It's a placebo effect because they don't let us have blood within any. It's ridiculous. Ugh. I rue the day that the institution took over. Ah, oh, how dare they. Tell us to treat humans as equals. Livestock as equals. You're our fodder. And here I am talking with you. Ridiculous. Humans used to run at the sight of me. It was fun, it was sport for me to chase after them, but no. No, not anymore. <laughs> but as overseer of this clan, I must make decisions unfortunate decisions to keep my clan safe. I chose to abide by the rules of the institution because there are more of them than there are of us. So yes, I do what they say. And I allow these periodic interviews of you humans who who want to become vampires, and then I turn you, because the institution tells me I should. But you know what they don't tell me? Is they don't tell me who is allowed into the clan or not. That is up to me. Thank goodness. We don't allow trash in this clan. The majority of these interviews end up being nothing. These institutions send me trash. We like to uphold the old vampire way as much as we can. Yes, 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 interview, go ahead, tell me, what is it? Why, why should I allow you, a human, to be turned by me and let into my clan? Please tell me. Mm, no, 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 stop right there. I don't need to know about your ambitions. I don't need to know about why you want to be a vampire so bad. You've always loved vampires. Stop it. We don't care about that here. Oh, you know, the other clans, they're so silly. They let people in with arbitrary reasons. Oh, you have a big heart. You have a big heart. Bollocks. We don't care about that here. Your lineage. What's your lineage? Tell me. Your forefathers. Your last name. What is it? <coughs> what? Come again? Really? You don't mean it, do you? 
Show me the crest. Goodness. So you really are a descendant of famous vampire hunters. Oh, this is a wonderful turn of events. I was not expecting this tonight. Well, well, well. Darling, here, sit down and have a drink. It's just wine. Some for me, some for you. There we go. Sit down. Alright. <clears throat> now tell me. Do you have any other interviews coming up? With other clans? Mm, I see. Well, you are going to call them, and you are going to cancel. Yes, you're going to cancel your interviews because you're going to be a part of my clan. Yes, darling. I know, I know. It's so sudden, but you must be, trust me, you must be a part of my clan. Please. It would be so ironic. I love it. Any joys? It's been such a long life I've had, and any joys I have are so precious to me. And you, my dear, you are so precious. Oh, yes. You go back to the institution and you'll tell them I would like to be a part of Helena's clan. Uh, did I not introduce myself? I apologise. I'm Helena. I'm the overseer of this clan. Your new clan, yes. I will turn you myself. Though, first you need to get all the written documents from the institution, all the red tape and such, but... You'll come back and you'll be a part of us. Wait before you go, before you go back. There are a few things I need to check. Yes. You see, being a part of my clan, it comes with... Um, we have rules here. As I said, we aren't like the others. We're the best clan there is. And we like to be presentable in our ways. I need to measure you for your new suit. Your new outfit. Yes. Yeah. It is tailored. It is bespoke. It is made just for you. I will give them the most rudimentary of measurements and our tailor will prepare some different outfits for you. Stand still. Okay. Oh, wow. Beautiful measurements. It's lovely. Yes. Send down your arm here. Let's see, okay. And your other arm. Just the same. So symmetrical. I would expect no less from you. Okay, around your torso here. I see. Okay, your waist measurements are very good. And your hips, okay. Very good. Uh, the tailor will get your mm, pants measurements later. For now, I just need to get the main parts here. Need to check your neck. Because, of course, we do love our frilly neck pieces. Yes, we do. <laughs> mm, lots of frills. Because it's the vampire way, of course. Good, good, good. And one down the centre here. Yes, we'll have several pieces made for you. We don't have um, one uniform that we all use. It's all specifically tailored for the individual. Mm, what colour shall we put you in? Let me see. Come closer, I need to see your complexion, your 
undertones, your overtones, I need to see here. Oh, don't mind me, I've been drinking, but uh, what else do I do in this castle? They don't allow us outside to have fun, so... Okay, yes, I see. Uh, let's see, oh no, yes. Neutral, very neutral. Okay, you got the shade for your skin, it's beautiful. It will, of course, get paler over time. Yes, once you die and come back to life, you're still un- you're undead. You're still dead, but you're undead. Which brings about many things, but we'll get to- we'll get to that, sweetheart. Okay, yes. Perhaps a nice blue. Or a red. I think for vampires, a nice red goes well. We won't know for sure until your eyes turn. Mm, yes. Usually it's a red, but sometimes it can be a yellow and different hues in between, so one thing is for sure, it won't stay that colour. No, no, no. It is a beautiful colour, it's a shame to be lost, but when one is undead, these things happen. Right, okay. Mm. I have some ideas that I can let the tailor know. I'm thinking a higher colour to show off your jawline. Yes. Perhaps some frillies down by the sleeves. Embroidery around here. And let me know if you have any um, ideas of your own. The tailor, of course, I can let her know. It needs to remain very sophisticated. We're very sophisticated here. And I need you to hold yourself with very high regard, because in this clan, just so you know, you're already better than everyone else. Okay, yes, I have some ideas. Very good. Okay, I'll give the tailor my thoughts. Yes, your outfit will be very grand. Very special. It's going to be different than all the others. Because, darling, you are different than all the others. Remember that. Yes. Alright, so as I mentioned, the process of dying and bringing the one back to life is very traumatic for, you know, the human body. So, as we die, Our skin dries, it has issues, so if we don't uh, supplement it or moisturize it with certain things, it can tend to be dry for life, and as you know, vampirism is immortal, so we don't want dry skin for life, so I have a few things that I need to put on your skin here, just a few moisturizers. So that your skin is ready for being undead. You will be much paler in the future once you turn, and it's because you won't see the sun. We don't just become pale just because of being undead, it's also because of not seeing the sun. So say your goodbyes to the sun, of course. I couldn't tell you what it looks like. After hundreds of years. I don't know. A little over a hundred years, I'm not that old. Yes. The stars are much more beautiful than the sun could ever be, darling. You won't miss it. Right there. Such a beautiful nose. Okay. 
moisturized. Let that soak in, darling. Yes. And then we move on to the second part. Mm -hmm. We must add a serum next. But while we wait for the moisturizer to soak into your skin, your hair, it's much too alive. It needs to look more dead. In, in that way, I mean sleek. So notice very straight hair. It's pulled back. It's very sophisticated. We do not have hair in our faces, darling. So I have a, um, a comb here that I will use to brush your hair back. Of course, you don't need to worry about your hairstyle until you are turned. Alright. I'm very excited for you to join us. Oh, stand still, darling. I'm just going to move back your here, here. Okay. Over here as well. Just going to sneak it back. There we go. Perfect. Lovely. So lovely. Oh. If I wouldn't turn you in a into a vampire and I would have loved you as a pet. Oh, we're not allowed to keep pets here anymore. As I said, the institution found it to be inhumane. It's too bad. I quite enjoyed it. It gave me something to do. Moving your bangs backward. 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 Do, do. Perfect. Do. Lovely. You have such beautiful hair, darling. So soft and silky. Oh my, perhaps you should grow your Look wonderful. <gasps> yes, long, wonderful, silky hair. Perhaps you would look nice with curly hair, though. More cur curly than this, yes. It can be done in a more regal way, I believe. We'll make that decision once we see your outfit, but... Yes. Let me feel the texture of your hair, darling. Mm hmm I see. Yes, okay. Curly might be the way to go. Some very tight curls, maybe a bit around your face here. Something framing your face. There's some vampires that have a more romantic look. I go for the more sleek look and most look very nice in that way, but I do allow some to have a more romantic look about them. And given the complexion of your skin and the uh, texture of your hair, I believe 
we may need to go with a more romantic look. I'll need to write that down. A romantic look comes with more frills around the collar. Yes, it's going to look lovely. Mm. Perhaps some red blush. Yes. Darling, when you die, you lose any colour in your face. So we need to add it back in. Yes, yeah, so I will need you to understand blush and start using it because it gives a more sophisticated and romantic look about it. So, okay, yes, good. So, now that we have your hair figured out, we have a serum here that I use on all the new vampires before they are turned. It has many vitamins in it, um, Dead Sea Minerals, that's the main thing, the Dead Sea Minerals. It helps the individual skin to mm, turn. on your face here. That's enough. Here we go. Calm down. decide what accessories you are going to be wearing. This is my accessory. Every good vampire has an accessory. Some vampires choose to have necklaces with symbols. Some may carry a sword. That is their accessory. So we need to decide what accessory you shall wear. Now, because you are of high status in my clan already, we need to make sure it's a good accessory, a good symbol to show that you're better than everyone else. Yes, we have ranks here in my clan. We aren't all the same. It depends on your complement accomplishments in life, as well as 
of course your family lineage and you might, yeah, or at the top. Some vampires in my clan never make it above the lowest rank. They're the ones that go out and fetch the blood. Darling, you will never need to worry about looking for blood. You will never need to worry about hunting, unless you'd like to. They do all the dirty work for us in the higher ranks, so no need to worry about that. Perhaps... Pearls? Mm -hmm. I see. Not a fan of pearls. Okay. Hmm. Maybe a symbol of your clan. Oh, sorry. A symbol of your crest. Your family crest. You could make it into a necklace. And you could wear it around your neck. Mm hmm. I think that. That would be wonderful. I think that's a great idea. In order to really stick it to them. That a member of a very prestigious vampire hunting family is now a part of my clan as a vampire. I think it would be lovely to wear the crest for me. What do you think? You aren't sure? No, 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 darling. I don't think that it would be rude at all. I think it would be a look how far I've come sort of thing. Could you do that for me? Wear the crest. Yes, good. Very good, darling. Good. I'll have the jeweler get something ready for us, so that when you come back and we turn you, you already have your accessory, and I hope you'll wear it proud. Mm-hmm. Of course. Okay. All right, darling. You must do your thing. Um, go back to the institution. Let them know that you do not care for any more interviews with any more clans. Because you already have the best clan who wants you, right? And then come back and we can turn you so we don't need to worry about having issues with... Ugh. <sighs> one day, one day we will overturn the institution and go back to the way it's supposed to be. But don't tell them that. That's, uh, confidential. Yes. All right. Bye bye, darling. Go, go, go. Come back quickly. Go, go, go. Yes, bye bye. Okay.